Hey everyone, welcome back to Devil and Me. Let's go to the bar. We have a key. So we should be all good now. Mystery man left it for us. Let's jog. Ooh, okay. I like this new menu mechanic that we're that we have to like pick which item to use. Ooh. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hmm. Okay. This bar is giving Hello? me shining vibes. Let's check this corner. This looks there. like there would be something here. Yes. Is Hello? it an old newspaper? <laughs> Oh. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. No. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought he was going to knock say, over his coffee. We have our man. My brain. Can I read it? No. You can maybe flip it upside down and read it. <laughs> the newspaper. Like, pause the video and flip your phone. <laughs> My brain all all I could think of during that bit. So I'm sorry. I almost took in no information All I thought I was like are those real actors that would probably be cheaper than actually making the CG models do that Do those poses and I was like, I wonder if they just like hired some really cheap actors who just thought oh, there's a dude there I wonder if they hired some really cheap actors to just do like a couple takes like that and we were like oh, That's a rep done in an hour. It's just like in some random room and then, and then the dude almost spilled his coffee. That's all I can remember. Wow. An ah, the ah. mannequin. That's what will I be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. Don't a have that. Of cigarettes, please. Oh, there's an Hello? ashtray, though. Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. Something on his neck. <laughs> ah. No fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Can you check out? There's like a label on his neck. Did you guys see that? I haven't checked out this corner. Can I look at this frame? Yo, here we go. Ooh. Oh, that's one way to go. Jeez, burnt. It was called burnt. The man loves his cigarettes, huh? Maybe he's gonna accidentally light, light himself on fire. Yeah, the breathing is really loud this time around for the characters. Have you noticed? You can really hear everyone breathing. Miss Kelly Schroeder. Once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy and I, in part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I have spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I am proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony. 7 p.m. Friday, November 17th, 2017. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. Oh, I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it when you enjoy the... Unique hotel experience. Richard Belknap. Okay. 
November 17th, Kelly Schroeder. Let's see if she's in the in the guests um the ledger. Mm, I'm sure it will oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I check your neck? Sorry. Oh, I'm so close. What does it say? Bar bar something. Wait! Remember when we found that crow and it moved? Like an anima it was like an animatronic but with a dead bird on the outside. What if there's dead people in these mannequins? What if there are actually people that he set up, like past victims that he set up to be hotel staff? That would be pretty gross and cool for the yes. game. <laughs> yes. Oh, of course, it wants exact change. Can we find it? Damn it! Don't try and break it. Oh, are you gonna open the cash register? Is it locked? Usually you need to like rotate something on the side, don't you, for it to pop open? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> karma. <laughs> Next round's on me. Promise. Do you have the money? You took it already? Yes. <laughs> Not yet. Oi. 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 Oh, no, 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 please, come on. Shouldn't have done no. that. It's better for your health in the end, dude. No need to smoke. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ha! I still don't know, Bar Boy. What it says on the neck. What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. What if it's just fake cigarettes? Like it's, um. <sighs> don't do it. Rubbish. Vandalism. Give no! Me. Give me my cigarettes! Right, you. Who is that? Who is creeping up on you? Grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. Ooh, uh, I'm still in the bar. I Where think it's go? dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Find are you alone in the there? Pry bar. Who's that behind the bar? What? What was he grabbing? Have a little trickle of blood come out of sockets. Oh, that would have been so good. Hey, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I'd come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Maybe that's why Nothing. the... Just give me a sec, and I'll be Premonition good to go. pictures are like I'm body parts. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Mm-hmm. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. <laughs> Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. Watching this game makes me want to try eyeliner again, because they all have eyeliner. Um, 
reassuring. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. You trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just So assumed... you guys were together. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. Um... Can I say something? What do you want to say? We... Look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. He has a point. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. Mm. You're right. Let's be nice. No, you're right. I, um... Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Okay. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. <laughs> My arms are not short. <laughs> Anything behind us? Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Oh, I really thought I had something. Am I crazy or did we not Photo come from this direction? Camera reticle will How's change color place? when aiming at. It. It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. Oh. Yes. Mm, smart plan. Oh. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. It was green there, I but I don't know why. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah. Oh, sure, You're that was something. Right oh. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? From the good times. Oh, that's so nice. That's a nice picture. Man, how do I know when it's a good shot? I'll never know. I don't have that kind of insight. Why did that... Why is that one corner a good shot? I wonder. That was so weird. It wasn't like a secret triggered or anything either. Whoa, there, Bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Okay. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. I mean, it's not that strange that she, she likes it to be her private room. Hotel for me as well. The hotel room is usually like a place to kind of like escape people for a bit and just like catch your breath, take a little break. Oh. There's something back here. Special room. Doesn't work through the window. That's a cool shot. The music is really nice. What's going on? Are we about to have a moment? Yeah, the strings are really nice. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? 
He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. What is he looking at? Probably. Oh. Huh. Guess we're not totally alone. Oh. -ho. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? At least he didn't take away your cameras and stuff. No, oh, Jesus! Shit! <laughs> That's that was so uncalled for a clock. Jeez. Oh, my heart. Oh, what's that? This takes me back. To what? I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> what? That's all you have to say about that? That looks like an axe. Cut that desk. Was he the devil? Joseph Morello. The guy that was invited to come here. Since his first book in 2002, Joseph Morello has been fascinated by investigating serial killers and none have intrigued him more than H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morello examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact from fiction to provide evidence about the truth behind the historic case of America's first serial killer. Was he the devil? A must for Morello fans. It's like an analysis of your worst nightmares. Hmm. Joseph Morello. We see these everywhere. It's like three little doorbells. Oh, I saw that. Who put that up there? Extend his monopod to reach high objects. That is cool. Everyone has like a little a little thing they can do. <coughs> birth, deaths, and marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Spring announced the birth of their daughter Marilyn, June tenth at White Oak Hospital. Elaine and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son Morris on June tenth. On behalf of their daughter Lucinda Monday. Parent gra grandparents George and Irene Monday of Silver Spring announced the birth of their grandson. So that's just like newspaper clippings? Oh yeah, birth, deaths, and marriage. That used to be a column in the newspaper, right? Oh! No, 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 I forgot to flip the pages. Ah, uh, come back to me. Pick it up again. Yes. Thank you. Open it. And flip. No? There's no flippy? A whole book, just for that one tiny clipping. Mentioning some people that I've never heard of. Mm -hmm. Balcony? There's gotta be a way through. You know that doorknob reminds me of... Is there a doorknob in Beauty and the Beast? The animated one? Look at this wallpaper. Look at this debris. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. Old AF. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. <gasps> Can't be easy all the way out here. Yes. Woohoo! I found something. On January 1, 1956. And pay attention. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, Monday. haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? I can't make up my... You're taking a survey, you try to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. Ah. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's the first. The copycat. 
Watts. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. <sighs> you think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, <laughs> allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Wait, but who was talking on the tape? Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? Well, since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. <gasps> in the bar, the mannequins, the 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 man, this bar's in the mannequins. That's my current Old theory. House. Island beaches with dead fish. There. See that key? Mm. Just need to find a way through. Well. If we had our other friend with us, we would have been able to pick the lock, maybe. How do we get there? This is like the first game where I'm like, can I have a map? <laughs> but I guess you can't because the hallways are changing all the time. Hmm. I don't see anything I can interact with right now. Do you have a light at all? No way. That's your light? Okay. What's a really dark corner? That's creepy. That's so creepy. Can you try again? Hmm. It has a keyhole, so it means that we need to find a key. Can you go up this ladder? <gasps> you can! I just have to go really like up against it. There we go. <laughs> it's gotta be something up here. Oh, I really, oh God. I'm so excited now knowing that this is a feature. I really hope he's gonna have to go in a pitch black corridor and that's all we can use. Ooh, are we gonna push this? Dude, make it look easy, why don't you? That is too far, I think. How about here? Oh, no, there's no... That's not the edge of the balcony, okay. All the way into the corner, then. <coughs> yes! Awesome. We are in business. Keep your head down. I don't think she's following us. Is she? unlock oh I can't unlock that door I could probably unlock the next one mm -hmm. can you look out the window nope nothing I like doing that oh I can't squeeze in there oh there was something oh I can do this why would I want to do that? Let me put it in here. Haha! -ha. Oh, that's locked. Okay. Nothing I'm forgetting there. No, no, no. Jump! I would not. There's so many moments already where I'm like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I would. I would be so worried. I'm just breaking my neck. Push this should work. Mark. Nice. You okay in there? I'll be right back. Jump that. You can do that. No? Do I need to put it back? Do 
too far to jump. Honestly, his outfit is like my favorite so far. That's what I would want to wear. Seeing as I'm currently wearing a hoodie. <laughs> that makes sense. There you go. Now let's go up. There's, there's like definitely a lot more puzzling in this one. Which I'm very... I, I like it. I'm surprised. I don't feel like the older ones had that really. But I really like it. It feels really more like a video game now than the other ones did. The other ones felt more like interactive movies, which I was also totally cool with. I just really like these games. They're not amazing or anything, but they're just like fun little horror stories. But, you know, I think it's that thing. If you're a horror fan, your standards are pretty low anyway. Wait. I came through there, right? Yeah. Oh. You can do this. Why did we go this way? Just because we were curious? Nothing there. Oh, is that the key? Ah. So what key, where does it lead? Balcony, ah, cool. Awesome. Got it. And now this door magically opens. Yep. Okay, cool. Balcony time. Why are you stand there like a you're about to be snatched away? Yep. There we go. <laughs> I did it. Oh, wait, that's not a balcony. Whoa, oh, I thought balconies oh, oh, were only on. on the outside. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Wait, yeah, what the fuck? You were afraid of heights and you just jumped like broken balconies to like across cabinets and everything. What? That doesn't make a sense. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Okay. Is this called a balcony? If it's on the inside of the house? I really thought, is it different in... Oh, that's d lock in, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> Holmes. That's cool to see. Beautiful necklace as well. I would love to have that necklace. Okay, check this out. His it's hat? His Who? No H -H way. H. Holmes. Can't be the actual. You are you actually gonna pick that up? <laughs> oh Jesus! Fuck. You okay? Holy shit! You, this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <sighs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hmm. That was fun. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more yeah, anger. Yeah, some people do that. This is on him, Mark, not me. Mm, Charlie. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Hmm. Maybe I'll say nothing. 
Maybe stay quiet on this one, see what happens. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Mm, yeah. Good for you. That's saying that you would stay together doesn't right make any sense considering he broke up with that her. Sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was thinking about I was quite that. I'm moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So Dude, it doesn't matter. Acting like it. The company's going under. Great. Happy? You Everyone's out of a job after this, or dead, anyway. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. I did think that, though. I was like, you're talking awfully loudly about the company you're working for, and they're all staying in the same building. bodies in there and that's why the whole hotel smells that way oh. hey guys think it's okay if we pour some wine god please do has anyone seen mr dumet Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Um, hmm. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. <laughs> I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. Just <laughs> on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, back to it ain't coming. Wait, what, why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're mm -hmm. sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Hmm. I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. <laughs> this could work to our advantage. How? <laughs> Think about it. Hurry, my child. We must get the pizzas. Issues. The plan is still on, on the track. boat now. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place and by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But. That doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, <laughs> so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Hmm. The machine was broken. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine. <laughs> but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? 
In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Mm. Now, I would like to toast. I think his um, character really? model is the most impressive looking. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. Mm. You keep people interested. And finally, oh to God. our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Hmm. Cheers. He can be nice if you force him. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. Wait, 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 wait. Is there anything in the wine? What we can get here... What if we're all going to fall asleep and wake up in separate level. rooms? Sure. Murder rooms. If we have time to get it all. Like escape room stuff. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important. Just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What, what time do you is want it to do first, game? Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. Go for what warm light. What if shows up? Um, sort of. He's the director. If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. So we're all going to do this without Let's dinner? Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Hmm. Okay, for now. Shouldn't take me long at or all. Or a team. Great. 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 Hmm. <laughs> oh. The the extra cap, the backup cap. Does he have backup glasses too? that oh, oh hello guys oh is that you i would think someone's messing with me i wonder if the hallways periodically oh yes that's your gimmick oh let's go yes Wait, check behind you first. Oh, maybe there's actually something in your room. I'm so excited, but I wanna hunt for secrets. Now it makes sense that her breathing would be loud because she's wearing um, noise-canceling headphones. 
that is actually a long reason uh, a reason why for a long time I couldn't wear noise cancelling headphones because you can hear your own breathing so loudly I couldn't bear it plus it made me really paranoid but now I love them I know I shouldn't go this way but Oh, this goes Battery really far. Deep. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement, cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. <sighs> that is cool. Really? You're not going to say anything about it? Okay, that was very creepy. That legit got my heart racing a little bit. The hallways change or Oh my god, the hallways changed. Oh, I should have followed it first. I wanted to check everywhere. Mm. No, don't do my girl like that. She's my favorite so far. Okay, let's hope we can prevent that. Did anything change? It's way too late for that. Colorado oh. already let off. We'll find it. Quite okay? This can be a great getaway from everything. Oh yes. Your eight-year-old daughter will have so much fun looking at those creepy animatronics. Or the serial killer library. Or can you hear yourself? If you stop worrying for two seconds, you might actually enjoy something. Enjoy myself? It was someone bringing their eight-year-old kid. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's your light? Holy hell. There's blood on the handle. I think, I think whoever did this is playing recordings of all of the victims when they were staying here. Oh, this is so well done, what the fuck? That's a saw. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was so intense. I won't be scared long. Sing it, and I won't be scared long. Jesus. Do you still have your light? Holy shit, that section was amazing! That was so good! Oh, that was fun! Ooh, watch out. Damn it. 
Ooh, something unlocked. Break Could you it. just do that? Whew. That real that section really got me. Do you have a light? Oh, thank God. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Hey, wait, let me go back. <laughs> Do we remember what that name was from the lady? Kelly something O E. Hmm, I don't see it. Okay. She's not in here. Is there anything else I can get here? I think I already checked the main lobby, didn't I? Oh. Nothing. Ooh, God, I have stress pent up already from that section. That's insane. Oh, I saw something. Wait, it wasn't 180 before, was it? Wasn't it like 160 something? 170 something? Dude, that sound. Uh, Morello, we've seen that. Okay, okay, we've been here. We've been here. I'm gonna go back down. I'll ex uh, I'll explore the new area now. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sure I'm still missing a lot, or I'm just like just not checking the right corner or something. Okay, here we go. Shit. Hello. Indeed. Mr. Demet. Grand opening. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. 2017. Hmm. Due to the winter sun pool opening, uh, hours have changed, new hours. The lady looks, looks 10 years younger, but how? She went to the spa. Ooh, I'm excited to get a manicure again. Hee hee hee. Oh. Ooh, four five oh four five one. Net yoke, digital lock, oh four five one. Okay. Digital lock. Oh four five one. Oh four five one. Oh four five one. Is that locked? No, it is not. God, please don't forget 0451. Wait, you don't want to... Wait, wait a second. Open that back, back up. And yes. Is there anything on the back? Because you're not opening it. Aha! Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, illegible, 2011. Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. A codicil has been added which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. Oh, Belknap. Oh, uh, we saw his name somewhere. Wait, Belknap. Isn't he the one who was apologizing for the death in the accident in the construction? We recommend that a copy of this letter will be given to your legal representative. Okay. Legal and records. Remember, you can view any of your own. Okay. Jessica Maxwell, senior. Belknap. So Belknap was going to inherit something big. Richard Belknap. To Kelly Schroeder. That's it. 17th November. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy. In honor of them, I will be applying the final touches. I invite you and your team to come to the grand opening. So Kelly worked on the hotel and then Richard Belknap, who was about to inherit everything from someone else, inherited 
from the Edwards. I really appreciate the little lock icon so I don't have to like stop and try every door. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <sighs> choices, Jamie. Make better choices. Oh. This is your own damn fault. Four. Five. One. Huh. Oh, thank God. Something from this century. Okay. I know that's what I have to do. But I want to look around a bit more. I don't want to, like... Oh, what? Now I'm here? Oh, uh, so I could have just gone there. And then I could look at the coat. I get it. That makes sense. Enjoy your memorabilia. Ben at Killer Fernalia. Online auction for serial killer memorabilia. Oh. The authentic hat. $24,000. Winning bid by username HHH1896. Wait. But wouldn't that mean that the dude didn't actually inherit wasn't like a descendant to Holmes. Did he make that all up? Did he just buy everything? Dear Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period in the interim please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract okay oh kelly schroeder signed it hmm. cost assessment monica jesse laura frank right Are those names that are in the in the book? Dear Mr. Belknap, following our discussions regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find Overleaf a breakdown of the work as well as an estimate for the total cost. The work can commence through Tuesday, 13th of January, and will take approximately 10 months. Oh, 10 weeks. 10 weeks? That's really quick. With an estimated end date of Friday, March 24th. Pretty scary. Kelly Schroeder. Okay. 800,000 for the renovations. Whew. Okay, should I restore power before I go into this? Creepy ass area. Equip the multimeter. Right. So, I've had to wire the system in on itself due to the shoddy equipment. Follow the diagram. Okay. Um, I'm, I think this is correct. Severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. 
High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat. Hmm. Okay. Just repeating the message. Okay, now let's go into this creepy area. Okay, I regret my decision. <laughs> Doesn't work. Wait, can we examine? Hmm, no. This is so creepy. It's the quartet. Drop something, dude. I oh. this is making me nervous. Okay, let's have a look. What is on the ground there? Oh, a little tape. Oh, I want it. Take it, take it with you. I knew it! Stop! Get some help. Sing some more. Girl, you have nerves of steel. Oi. I had to build my own little castle. Just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Oh, wasn't yes. it Lucky Reds in the machine? Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rooms from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. Mm -hmm. The whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. Mm -hmm. And look at that. We're the only two That's like Ted Bundy miles. shit right there. The first couple times I wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. <sighs> That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want, but you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. 
You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Mm. That's more like Ted Bundy, though. Ted Bundy would dress up as some some someone you trust, like a police officer. Or he would pretend to have a broken leg or a broken arm, and he would need help with his groceries, and then attack someone. Where did I hear Mundy? Was it this one? There must be some way I can uh, examine those. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. He said his chair. This looks great. He's very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Hmm. Curious. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. Ah! What the hell? Where did they come from? Do you have your inhaler yes, with you? Oh, the dust in the air. <clears throat> Get me out of here! I can't see a thing! Door is shut! Break it open! It's not buzzing. Patient or distressed? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, this one. Just open the door. Move, move, Charlie. Do it, Mark. Get the door. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. You can do it. Break through this thing. Guys, I I I can't. Don't look at the door down. Me and Mark are trying to force it open. Oh, Jesus. Who's there? <gasps> oh. Ooh. Does he have a knife? Because that's how you'll die. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's your inhaler. Take the inhaler. No. I just want you to breathe. He does have a knife. No. Wait, he just takes a bit of hair. At least you got your inhaler. It only has three uses. Okay. Easy, easy. In. Oh. Jeez. Hey. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> they think it's the doll. He was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. 
No, it was not a dummy. He he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not. Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're OK. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. <laughs> I wonder why he wanted her hair. DNA test? Is one of us the actual um, ah. inheritor? There you are. Hello, curator. It's been a while I since I saw Aaron's you. Shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Pluck. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Jumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally Excuse the troops, the big though, and a good thing. The road it's ahead thirsty. is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. <laughs> Spoken like a true viewer. <laughs> In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. No, I record too. I'm recording You'd right better now. get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. No. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off kills me to admit it but kate is right somebody tried to attack aaron we don't know that's what actually happened i know what i saw in the dark you think i'm making this up everyone relax okay just give me a second to think excuse you <sighs> and exit stage left <clears throat> are oh so confident and sure leader what was that Charlie is thinking. She hmm. looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry. Maybe I'm crazy. But if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. Hmm. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Just tell them that someone grabbed you and... Right. Here's the plan. We've already knife. got a plan. Had an inhaler in their hand. Just listen. I guess it doesn't... It could still be done. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? And we're gonna get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? He didn't a even leave a note. Attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. <laughs> it's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? <sighs> Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. But Just how Charlie are we gonna said... get off when there's We're no ferry? Here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. I couldn't place that lady, but no, she's don't... um. Sorry, she's, a, just she's an actress. Still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Better pack your stuff quick. I mean, did you even really unpack? Isn't it just a matter of grabbing your bag and you're good to okay, go? Okay, <laughs> genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? 
I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Mm, I can't go there anymore. It makes... It works so well as well with the... Ooh, let's see if it says anything else now. No, 180 still. It works so well with the... Um, like doors being locked and stuff, even that works in this setting because what happened here? M walls I... are moving. No idea. <gasps> maybe this is not the same lobby as maybe there's multiple lobbies. Who knows how big this building actually is? <gasps> Jamie, over here. You're okay. stepping right yeah. in it, by the way. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just <laughs> blood? Dude, just blood? We're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause And it's a lot of blood. All right, it's a little odd. Odd. What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Dude. Maybe it's our dinner. Dude. I'm going back because I realized that I hadn't... Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. You can't go back. Oh, I... I realized I hadn't really looked around this lobby. Dang it. Just got tunnel vision because of the... Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? Well, so he hasn't left. <laughs> Wait, he's not saying anything else? Mm. Are you still here? Okay. I don't like it. Nice voice. Do I hear someone grunting? Oh, it's the next section. Oof. Lovely. Dude, how are you not more concerned? This is insane. You hear that? Please. Help the fuck? Mm. Help me. The groundskeeper. Are you? What happened? Are you okay? Oh! Look! You stepped on a pressure plate. It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. Don't move. Wait, is he gonna stab him through the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Charlie would so step off. Charlie would not give a shit about some other random... Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. 
You have your flashlight. Your hand. Come on. Damn it. You're not holding each other's hands. Oh, you are. Ooh. What's happening? What did I do? We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Oi, oi, oi. Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? Oh, you're shitting me. Mm -hmm. We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh. There's no way. That looked really, really heavy and strong. You need to you break that? a window or yes. something. What is happening? That's room shifting. <laughs> oh, I like it so much. Fuck. <sighs> Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry, wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. <laughs> it's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know, I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. Eh, it makes her feel better. It makes me feel better. Nothing wrong with that. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't a time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about he it. You blew it off because about of you. What? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Hmm. Why didn't you go for it? Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I guess I didn't even think of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then he broke up with I, you. I just... What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Hmm. I was honest about my priorities. You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. Man, she's so stern. We better go. Well, I wonder what her priorities Let's were get back exactly. Let's and get the fuck out of here. Is it... Do you want your bag? Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell-bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Um, where do we go? Are we gonna find out that the room isn't there? Who's going around locking these doors? Exactly! Ah, uh, I'm so glad she said it. Wait. Yeah, What's strangler. that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is it someone you know? Is it her? 
Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. Hmm. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? I kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. Mm. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. There's a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when he, that's when he got her. Mm. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? Yeah, that's interesting that they put that there. I have no there. idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here. <laughs> Charlie! Oh, you can stop it? Oh, I thought that would, would be way too heavy. Oh, God. Oh, just made it. I can't hold this. It's you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Damn. Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know. But I think it's really, really bad. Okay. It isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors. Crawl space has to be. Right. There should be a back door to everything for the person who's who made it. You know, like um God, what is it again? Uh what's going on? Cube? The cube movie? Demat, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Okay. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. Mm -hmm. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. No. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is? Right, I didn't even think about that. Oh. That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Oh, it Which could have been Dumet doing all this. Which makes yeah. wasn't really Dumet. Oh, damn. Could have just been some hired guy. <laughs> What's that? Oh, a calendar. Where are we going through here? Okay. Just want to make sure. Wait, this continues. Huh. Then, okay, let's check this room. Mother. Fucker! Oh, <laughs> <Like wall. laughs> fake doors. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. Okay. Hmm. Her breathing doesn't bother me as much for some reason. Her breathing is more like she's really tense, but she's alert. 80. Trying to map this in my head. That's I the think number Ellie's in the right lobby. Completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. Mm. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our yeah, show? Yeah, you do have a point. That's what these sociopaths do. <laughs> I am legit so tense. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Is that a 
kid. Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice, too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Let's look here. Ah, a little coin. Yes, thank you. I still don't know what to do with them, but hopefully, eventually. Ten. Oh. I thought that was a face. What? I thought that lamp was a was a mask. Charlie, come here. Let's get this open. Okay. I'm ready for a QT. No? Okay. Mm-mm. Freezer. Be careful. Don't go in just yet. Pig. Well, now you have food if you need it. Don't know how long you're going to be stuck in this hotel. Hopefully you can find a place you can fry some of the meat. Why are you going straight in? That door is going to close. You're going to regret it. Ah, <sighs> told you. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. <laughs> We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Uh -huh. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus... Natalie? Natalie Morello. <gasps> Morello! Oh, are you... Oh. The whole oh, body. Ooh. It's, it's a fucking body. You think? Meet the last party that visited this hotel. He doesn't know that. Maybe. Fuck. You're probably right. Can we open this door? No. That <laughs> says exit, but I don't Charlie, believe that for one I found second. A way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone's gonna get electrocuted. Oh. Oh, I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah! Oh. <sighs> Did he pass out? Yeah, that was quite the Charlie? tumble. Fuck. Oh, it closed right away as well. He wants to split them up. I know somebody was in there. I... I... can't... I can't breathe. Try to relax. Slow, deep breath. In and out. She was recording the whole thing. Uh, come on. It's a door. Hehehe, <laughs> turn it up. <laughs> now you don't hear it because you have your headphones on. This. Oh god. Wait. Who closed the door? instant death it's dusty as hell though do you do you not have like a mask with you like an n95 or something that would really help you oh, come on come on stop being such a damn wimp mm -hmm. i would probably just stay put you know I'm gonna burn through these and then when I really need it, I'm not gonna have it. Ugh. No, no. 
I'm surprised none, surprised none of them think like, oh yeah, I saw a thing that it was like a, this is like a hotel experience, so someone's just messing with us to give us the authentic experience. Treatment for what? Snake oil. Hmm. That's an old one. Hey, the Silver Ash Institute. We saw that before. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's bodies in there. Or those are just straight up actual bodies. I, you better hope they're already dead. If one of these pops up and then dies, oh my god. I'm not even looking at them, okay? I'm gonna just like check out this corner. This is such a beautiful corner. Ooh, first aid. That might be good. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to check it out. Oh boy. Just examine it. Don't touch oh, anything. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Dude, I feel like one of them is gonna pop out and try and hurt you. Don't get too close. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Are you crazy? Don't touch that shit. That's for, like, get everyone killed playthrough. That is not today. Laurel. Well, so cutie in the pick. Fuck you, Jamie. Who, Aaron? Please. My type is badass bitch. No, not timid woodland creature. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face always looks lost and confused. Hmm. Do you want to try and get your... If he moved while I wasn't looking, oh my god. Can you get this thing? 20% battery. You better get it. Not that you really have a signal. You have Wi-Fi though? Isn't that what that icon is? Dude, god. That is scary. Wait, 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 let me get... I'm not gonna touch him, but... His eyes make him look like he's very much... Alive still. Oh, I don't trust it. No, 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 no. Don't trust that one bit. For too long. Banished a demon drink. A miracle cure. For too long, a predilection for alcohol has been stigmatized purely in terms of weakness of character and absence of moral fiber. Yet startling breakthroughs by renowned physicians have demonstrated that alcoholism is an ailment, same as syphilis and cholera, and can only be successfully treated as such. But although alcohol aversion remedies are becoming available, the greed of their manufacturers has put the majority behind the purse of the common man, particularly when the common man has already been driven to the brink by ruin of by brink of ruin by his unfortunate affliction. Such dire public need has now been answered by the esteemed Chicago practitioner, Dr. Henry H. Holmes, who at his personal expense had established, oh, he owns Silver Ash Institute. Oh, bringing affordable therapies to the drunken masses. Already the good doctor is achieving remarkable results with those who pass through the doors of his clinic. At the Silver Ash Institute, there is no recourse to prayer. Illegible. Oh, yeah. Uh... Or plea with the Almighty. The only law is submission to Dr. Holmes and his miracle cure, a patented yet highly affordable compound of secret ingredients, including pure silver drawn from the mines of North Dakota. When ingested thrice daily for a program of four weeks, this cure is certain to exercise the patient of his prior inquisitious appetites. Indeed, following one month's treatment at the Silver Ash Institute under the strict instructions of Dr. Holmes, there will be little of your bad old self remaining by the time you depart. I mean, you'll be dead, so. Aaron, hello? Jamie. Oh, that's Jamie, okay. Jamie? Aaron? You there? Uh. 
Hello? Can you hear me? Speaker in the, in the mouth what of the dude. How are you? You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Okay. Texts don't matter now. They really don't Jamie, matter. What is going on? Where are you? I don't. Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now. Just trust me, okay? Yep, 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 Go, 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 go. Cupboard, cupboard. Run. Run for the cupboard. Hide. Do what she says. She probably has eyes in the room. Okay. Here we go. I'm ready. Oh, you would have run straight into him. But doesn't he have cameras everywhere? He would know where you are. Deep breaths. I don't know if to press X at all. This would be perfect for that. <laughs> Trolley? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Okay, check this out. Oh, they're seeing the door now. Mm-hmm. What is going on? Are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Do you think the windows are unbreakable, like bulletproof? You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. Mm, it's our voices. Oh, he was already making it. Of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. I am. You keep people interested. I do. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. What are you doing? Just stay back from it. Hmm. This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck him up. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think this is where I'll leave it. Because uh, I have been going for a little bit. And whew, I am nervous. I need to like take a break. <laughs> I really, really like it so far. This is very fun. And I'm excited to piece together what's going on. I kind of really still hope that there's certain body parts and certain mannequins, but maybe I'm asking for too much. We'll see. We'll find out later. Thanks so much for watching. I'll hopefully get to a part three very, very soon. And I'll see you guys there. Leave a like if you enjoyed it.